Okay, so when it comes to hacking things, probably the most important thing that first comes to our mind is a computer, a physical machine where we can run our operating system and other software. In the past, people used to use those big, bulky desktop computers, but with time we got laptops. Laptops are thin, lightweight, and handy. If you are a hacker or just starting your journey in hacking, you need a laptop. Obviously, you can't just carry your bulky desktop computer everywhere with you. I'm going to tell you about some really awesome and budget-friendly laptop specifications in this video that will surely help you choose the best laptop for your hacking stuff. Also, I'm going to give you some beginner tips that I've learned from my personal mistakes, and I don't want you to make the same ones. But before I start yapping about those things, I want to tell you about something that can earn you some good deeds. According to a report from ChatGPT, approximately 2.5 billion people around the world still do not have access to the internet. Don't you think education is a right for everyone? So, I want to tell you about Give Internet. Give Internet is trying to provide internet access and laptops to people around the world, and they need you to join them in their mission. And just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video for Give Internet. I just wanted to support their cause, and you can join too by donating through the link in the description. Believe me, anything would be helpful. All right, now let's get back to the video. For the best laptop for hacking stuff, we don't need to spend much. We can find something really great on a budget. For the processor, I recommend going for the 12th generation Intel i5 or i7. It's more than enough to support your hacking-related tasks. You can also go for AMD, choosing either a Ryzen 5 or 7. These processors can easily handle tools and software like Metasploit and can also work with the heavy load of virtual machines, and that's all a hacker needs. For RAM, I'd recommend going for at least 16 gigabytes. That's the minimum requirement because we'll be running virtual machines. But if you're planning to install Linux directly on your laptop, you can go for 8 gigabytes RAM. It's more than enough. If you can extend your budget a little, consider getting 32 gigabytes RAM, as that will allow you to run multiple virtual machines smoothly. Okay, the next thing is storage. Go for at least 500 12 gigabyte SSD. Make sure to buy an NVMe SSD laptop instead of one with a hard disk because hard disks are kind of old now and very slow. So, getting an SSD will be a great choice. You can increase your storage to one terabyte if you have the budget, but that's completely optional. We're not going to need much space. 512 gigabytes is more than enough. Next important thing is the laptop's battery life. Battery life is something really important to consider. Imagine you're about to get a reverse shell into a web app and your laptop runs out of battery. Get a laptop with at least six hours of battery backup. That's the minimum. But if you can, go for something with a higher battery life. Another important thing that people often ignore is the display. A 13 to 15 inch full HD display is fine, but if you have the budget, you can get one with 4K resolution. Also, consider laptops with a good number of ports and never go for old laptops because they lack security features. Imagine if someone steals data from a hacker's computer. That's the last thing you want. The last thing I want to talk about is the graphics card or GPU. A GPU is completely optional, but if you want to do password cracking, having one would be a great choice. You can go for NVIDIA GTX or RTX, but just don't spend too much on it. Alright, so, I've made a list of five of the best laptops you can consider for your hacking journey. First on our list is Acer Aspire 5. This one's a budget-friendly option. If you have a budget of $600 to $700, it's the best choice for you. You can read the specs by pausing the video. Next, we have Lenovo ThinkPad T490. It's a mid-range laptop and can easily be found for around $900 to $1,100. You can upgrade it up to 48 gigabytes of RAM, and it's a perfect choice for hacking. Next up is Dell XPS 15. I personally use this one. You can get it for $1,800 to $2,200. Prices vary depending on your country and location, but this is a rough estimate. It's one of the best laptops made for hacking. Again, pause the video to check out the specs. The Acer Nitro 5 is another great laptop for hacking, and you can also call it a budget beast. You can get it for $1,100 to $1,300. The best part? It comes with an NVIDIA GPU, which will help you with password cracking and GPU-based tasks. Finally, if you're completely broke like me but still eager to learn, you can go for a Pinebook. Yeah, you can get this for around $300, and it runs Linux easily, but don't expect to run virtual machines on it. Now, if you're a beginner in hacking and cybersecurity and trying to get your hands on Linux and hacking tools, I highly recommend checking out our 250-plus hacking commands cheat sheet through the link in the description. We've covered over 250 hacking commands in this cheat sheet sheet, along with examples and detailed explanations, all for just $4.99. Click the link in the description and grab yours now. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Also, join our Discord community through the link in the description and follow me on Instagram. Make sure to support giveinternet.org and help them complete their mission. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.